The government has changed things, but people haven't changed. That is the biggest struggle in my view, that we have to wage throughout the country, identity and decolonization or de apartheidization of our mind. You can't talk about people in South Africa without talking about race. I don't know where I stand as a young person here in, in this country in terms of the fact that I don't know what's expected. I'm identified by other people as colored. Um, I, I never grew up with a concept of myself as a colored person. My parents did not tell me that, you know, you are colored. Um, I think it's more of a peer group thing, you know, it's, it's, it's the system that you're in. The legacy of apartheid has left a very racialized society. Something has changed legally, not in our minds, but in our minds it's like, before. But it was such a mad, mad, mad system. It, it's going to take time. It's much better for the kids. There are a lot of opportunities for the kids because they can do whatever they do. They can go to school wherever they want. People are trying to and there's a whole lot of new things that have come to light, unemployment, um, AIDS, but I mean, people are actually doing something about it. They're not people just sitting back waiting for things to happen, I don't think. And I think that whoever's negative is obviously negative because of the experience that they've had personally, but they can't generalize and say that this country's going to the shits because it's, it's not fair, it really isn't fair for the people that are working their asses off.